As much as I looked in the internet, I found only, I think in total, five pictures of this car. The car itself is lost. It was designed as a concept vehicle by Gandini, and that became the BMW car. Beyond the pictures, there is nothing left in our archives at BMW or in our museum. And then uh, I had the idea to visit Mr. Gandini, to ask him if he would be okay with the idea of recreating it. From the pictures that we had, we rebuilt it, I should say, in Italy, uh, just like the original was done. Uh, and we actually built it on the running chassis of a BMW 2002. Well, Marcello Gandini, to me, is one of the grand masters of car design. The designs that he did are some of the cars that, that got me interested in car design in the first place and got me thinking about car design and uh, turned me really in, in this direction. Yeah, seeing the car complete, of course, was uh, quite special. I'm used to seeing uh, new designs all the time, and uh, there I was in Turin all of a sudden, seeing a car that I knew was brand new, uh, but somehow it is from the 70s. Fare una, una vettura di medie dimensioni moderna nel 1970, quindi in un'epoca abbastanza lontana. Gandini's designs have always been very clear, very clean, uh, but also very dramatic. This is why I found his work uh, always so inspiring. Però l'obiettivo era quello di ottenere una, un oggetto molto pulito che però si distinguesse dagli altri. I do see throughout BMW's history at that time a strong influence from Italian design houses, whether it was Michelotti, Giugiaro or Bertone. To me, it showcases that BMW, throughout its history, has always been technology-driven, but design always had a special uh, position within the company, and I think that's still true today. Yeah, I think for, uh, for Marcello Gandini, it was quite moving. Uh, he told me that he felt 25 years younger than his actual age when he stood next to me and, and looked at the end result. So uh, we take that as a compliment for the team that, uh, that built this car. <laughs>